Out of here, cousin. Yeah, we we supposed to be, uh, we supposed to have a reservation at eight. We came a little late, but so we come from this uh, rain, rain. Uh, it's about to be snow. <laughs> oh, no way! Have you ever had snow? Yeah, I used to live in San Diego. Okay. And we have, you know, that's a good place to live too, because we have a snow, we have a uh, beach, okay, mountains. Yeah.
really said our grace. But I, I say it again, just dear Lord, just thank you for this, this opportunity, this food, this nourishment of our bodies. Just thank you for this, all the many blessings that you've given us, seen and unseen. We know that this is this a um, just a small, you know, uh, just a small piece of the, all the many things that you've done for us. So just just giving our praises and our thanks to you, dear Lord. And just in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. So yeah, we here in Cabo, y'all. Unbelievable. Oh, what is this? Okay. First night here. But oh, that's the beat. Okay. The rice is like that. Shout out to the to the chef here. Uh, don't get me started on the names. I would not know. Wow. That creamy rice is this magnificent. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Los Cabos, bro. First time here. Um, and it's on a quote unquote work trip, y'all. I love work. I love work. What's more piece of advice? Come join us. You gotta speak to the camera. You gotta speak to the camera. <laughs> hey, hi, everybody. How are you? I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you the pictures that we took. Tell me, what do you have? Oh, good. It looks like you're having a very good time, isn't it? Nah, yeah. That's our job. We gotta, yeah. we gotta make it look like we're having a good time. That's very good. Nah, thank you for everything. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Jacob, I think, right? Yeah. Hey, this ain't no um, no cup of rice, cup of noodles out this room. But I know what that tastes like too. Wow. The lobster top on top of this would have been crazy. Heavy on that. What's one thing you would tell people right now? You what, 20, what, you 28? 27, 27. please, bear with me. <laughs> oh, my bad, it's 27. Um, it's November the, what, the 13th? Uh, November the 13th, 2021. What would you tell somebody right now? The people that are rushing you to have it figured out have yet to figure it out themselves. Let's go deeper. What do you mean by that? Or what would you say, what experience would say that you caused that to think that way? I just think that like over the last couple of years in our journey, we've learned that a lot of people don't particularly understand themselves to the extent to give you the advice or the affirmation that you may be seeking from them. Therefore it is, very challenging for them to be able to accept that you are, are are on a pursuit of something that may not necessarily be tangible yet or something that is not currently visible um, and that's the exercising of faith right there the Bible talks about that faith is the evidence of things hoped for but not yet seen and moments like these allow us to truly be able to reflect that what it is that we saw in dreams and in visions and things of that sort now has manifested in itself to the point where we are able to experience things like this because of God's purpose and just the extent of his will, you know. So the primary thing has always been service, but then sporadically and in between those opportunities in which we're able to serve, he allows us to be able to enjoy things like this. But a lot of people don't necessarily understand that. So. We hope that in recording things like this um, and being able to share the in-between parts of our story, but then also being able to reflect that some people just don't get it until they see it. We, as visionaries, as people of purpose, as people that have faith and have hope, have to see it internally 
um, by studying God's word and being able to really understand what it is that he's showing us, hold on to it until you arrive to a place like this and you're, you're humble when you arrive there because it does take some time. It does take some time. So you said people, like, what do you think that comes like? Is that old, young? Is that someone you don't know? Everybody. Everybody? It's everybody because especially with social media, I think one of the biggest issues is that people find themselves comparing themselves to other people. Therefore, if your progression is contingent on somebody else's progress, then you begin to look away. And any time that you turn your head or your neck when you're trying to walk straight, you begin to veer. You may not necessarily feel it to the extent that you're changing your body in a whole entire direction, but any time you take any part of your body and utilize it to be able to look somewhere else or to focus on what else somebody else is doing that's when your your focus on what it is that god has placed you on this earth to do you begin to compromise it and everybody needs what everybody has that's why we're here so i think that's that's something that our elders struggle with some something that people with our age struggle with and naturally the youth is going to struggle with that as well because they're being taught to suppress their dreams rather than um, being able to enhance them and put themselves in a position where they can cultivate them and be able to live those dreams out. Yeah, we need to do Instagram Live out here, yo. I know. Hear me scrape this plate. You ate the flour and everything? Right there, bro. Oh, how about I say, yo, you a wild bull. <laughs> hey, look, hey, yo, this boy's hungry. If I, if I was going any faster, <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna hold you. I did chewing that joke for a little bit. I said, what is, <laughs> yo, said, what is this, yo? Oh, we. That man thriving off photosynthesis. Damn. Hey, uh, shout out to the chef. They did that. Uh, my man's Jacob. Excellent. Mm. You can't make stuff like this up. <laughs> <laughs>